Here comes Prime Alexander. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Frederick Alexander. A man with C4 in his hands, rocket launchers in his legs, a truly dynamic competitor. He first turned heads as a cruiserweight. Hit another gear in her business, and now he's on the rise. Yeah, Cedric Alexander is a very accomplished competitor and won't hesitate to go after anyone. Here comes a tremendous third-generation luchador. High-flying skill and unparalleled arrogance on display. And his opponent, representing Legado del Fantasma from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, A third-generation superstar, a former cruiserweight champion, and the biggest heartbreaker since HBK. Yeah, a truly lethal Lothario. Angel is a superstar who's as good at breaking hearts as he is at breaking opponents, though sometimes he does seem a little too focused on the ladder when his head should be in the game. Well, it's just the very healthy ego of Angel you're noticing, Cole. Angel knows exactly how good he is in the ring, and he's confident in his ability to get the big win. Well, if getting the victory comes down to the man who has more confidence, then things are in Angel's favor. But you know, Cedric Alexander has a singular focus here. And he goes for the pin. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uso. Elbow drop. Piercing. And you're facing Angel. What are you looking out for? Well, Angel's going to cut corners, and he's going to do a very good job of doing so. So you have to be two steps ahead of him at all times. The more you can control the pace and keep him in your sights, the harder it'll be for him to play dirty. Destructive arm breaker. You're so weak. Oh, I heard a snap. Alexel, pop. Ah. Uh, Crank in the head. And he saw that coming from Cedric. Tombstone maneuver coming. Wait, no. Long blow. We got a rope break. Ah, oh, a stop. Working on the leg. Oh, a strong impact. Is it enough? Oh, my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He's nowhere near ready. Don't do it. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. I don't care. No. Really thought that was going to work, but now we got a human being we have to scrape off the floor. Oh, my lord! And that broke Angel down a bit. 
Yeah, the non-stop intensity of Alexander on display right there. Headlock. What are they doing here? Into a headstand? Are you kidding me? Oh, that was pretty cool. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Up to the top rope now. Up high. Boom! He's one step ahead there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. And a very impressive maneuver from Angel. That guards the instinct jumping out. I'd say he's earned a smooch or two with that one. Counters. from Cedric. Alexander lifts it up and the Fisherman Buster. That's it. Cedric just ended things. That's gotta be it. Two. Near fall. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. I don't think I've ever seen Alexander so frustrated. He thought he had this in the bag and now he has to be considering a new strategy. When you're this far into a match, you are surviving on instinct. Blow after blow. This is all about survival at this point. Driven down into a brain buster. Alexander proving just how intense he can be. Thrown back in under the ropes. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top. Seeing right now, no one can. Alexander firing up, trying to get something kinetic going. Ah, uh, setting them up for Fisherman's Buster. Angel is in the worst way now. Confidence had to be rocked after this loss. Well, at least Angel has good looks. Something he can fight.